what is up everybody i'm the day welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to learn about which is the best machine for video editing for you guys so by the end of this video you guys have an idea which is the perfect machine or perfect laptop or the desktop for video editing for you so without being said let's start this video in three two one So let's start from the beginning. What is good for video editing? A laptop or a desktop? So both of them have advantages over disadvantages. The first thing, uh, let's talk about the laptop. You all know what is laptop is. So if you are a traveler, you have to do a lot of work. Or if you are a college student, ho, so I would suggest laptop is the best part because you can go anywhere and sit anywhere and edit it anywhere you want. And the second one is desktop. If you are the person who is love work from home, so bhai, desktop is for you. It is also a price advantage. Like if you get a one lakh rupees laptop, the same specs you will get in the desktop in seventy to eighty thousand. You will save twenty thousand at least in desktop. So this is just the basic difference between laptop and desktop. Now let's head towards the specs. What are the specs you have to put in your laptop or desktop? The first spec we are going to talk about is the CPU. Or the brain of a computer, that is the processor. I would suggest go for i5 or greater than i5 version, that are i9 and i7, and make sure you get at least uh, eight generation and above. And guys, if you have a low budget, then go for the Ryzen AMD CPUs. They give the best price to performance ratio. So I would suggest go for the AMD as well. The AMD Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9 all have the great performance. So now let's head towards the next thing, which is also very important in computer. That is RAM or random access memory. Uh, get at least 16 gigs of RAM because if you try to open two apps like uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects, then you must need uh, 16 GB of RAM because there there will be no lag if you have 16 gigs of RAM. And if you have a budget, then go for the 64 and 128 gigs also available at today's time. Now let's head towards the third point, which is generally everyone is. Neglecting that is SSD. What is SSD over HDD? SSD means solid state drive. It is four to five times faster than a normal HDD hard disk drive. So it will make your computer more snappy. App opening time will decrease, boot up speed will increase, and that's all. And that's the main function of SSD. Okay, so SSD is also very important when you are. Building a PC or buying a laptop. Now let's head towards the fourth point, which is generally not that considered in video editing. That is graphic card because in video editing mainly the processor is used in rendering, not graphic card. But if you want a graphic card, then I would suggest go for 1650 Ti or Max Q. It they both are available in PCs as well as laptops. Okay. Now let's head towards the final thing, which is the good screen. If you are taking a good laptop but it has a bad screen, then it will not work in video editing field. Because if you are a video editor, then you have to do color grading in your video. So for color grading, a good screen is very important. So make sure you will get a good screen. And if you are a desktop user, then make sure you have a good monitor with good full HD screen and high quality screen. Now that's all you need to make a good PC and a good editing machine so that's it for this video and if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button as well and if you have any query then put it down in the comment section and that's where i will respond and that's it goodbye take care sayonara peace out